How you doing YouTube? My name is Rob. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a new headset that I just purchased. It's the Alienware 510H, 510H. It's a 7.1 gaming headset. Um, got it for a pretty darn good price over at um, Dell, mainly because I had some Dell bucks and I figured I would use it on a new headset. Uh, my wife commandeered my old one, so these are going to be my new ones. I don't mind it being um, non-wireless, uh, mainly because um, I only really use the headset when I'm over by my PC, so that's the reason why I went with, without a wireless connection. I'll probably miss the wireless, but we will soon find out. <laughs> anyway, so the box came in uh, from FedEx today. It was in a much larger box from Dell. I'm um, wondering why they put such a big box around this thing, but um, that's what they did. So we'll get to the opening right now. Um, basically, it's a really nice box. Um, it's got the typical Alienware font for 510H. Gives it a little bit of that alien feel to it. Um, it marks that it's 7-1 right up in the front there. And on the side, it kind of talks about the 7-1 the frequency range that we're talking about, that it's USB or a 3.5 uh, millimeter jack um, with a five, uh, 50 millimeter, um, I guess that's a ear cup size? I don't know. I don't know what that symbol means. We'll soon find out. Um, anyway, there we go. Now I see what it means. It's the size of the drivers. It's a custom tuned 50 millimeter high resolution driver. So that's the size of the driver that is in the ears. So that's what that means. There we go. We will open this up. It looks like right here shows you the different connections. Looks like I got a little fob over on the end to probably control my volume and if I want to mute. It has a microphone that I believe is retractable in and out. Um, and we'll go from there. So let's just see what we got. And that was relatively simple. And there's the device in the case. Looks like we got right in there some uh, Alienware propaganda material. We got some tie downs right here. Oh, these are nice tie downs. Could probably use this for cable management after I take them out. Yeah, it's a nice little tie down. Let's see. So you can definitely use it for cable management um, in whatever system you have or Kind of controlling your wires in and around your desk. And there's the other one. So yeah, nice. Another little Velcro zip tie to keep them in. First impression, the um, I got the um, I guess I guess I call it um, not the lunar light. This is the dark side of the moon color. So it's a um, gunmetal type of color, I would say, you know, dark gray. Um, it's got a really nice memory foam um, feel to the top there. I believe that should be fine for me. Um, we have uh, any kind of adjustments. Yep, right there's the adjustments. So this is more of a swivel here. That doesn't pull in and out. Um, it's just a swivel for your for when you want to rest them on your shoulders. Um, but the cups move up and down within a channel on your on that little um, swivel to adjust to your to your your head. So and over here it looks like we got the nice retractable mic, and that's where that goes when it's not in use. Um, sometimes I like the flip up type of ones where um, you can easily mute rather than having to push a button. Um, but that's where that is. Let's see what else is in here. This is the as I say in the propaganda material. And what do we got in here? We've got the Alienware gear up, throw down, little card with all their social media and how to connect with them. And then your typical warranty, safety, environmental, and regulatory information that nobody reads. So that's what that is. Looks like in this little bottom area is probably where all the cables are, and yep, there they are. So we got right here the, um, looks like the, the um, 3.5 millimeter jack. 
over here. They look like we have a USB and a 3.5 millimeter and a nice little light connector. Very cool. And that's pretty much it. I also love the fact that when they say on these things, this is a drying agent, clay, um, clay keep away from children, do not eat and throw away. So it's fun. I wonder who eats these things that they actually have to tell you not to eat them. So, anyway, that's about it. I'm going to give it a whirl, hook it up to, right now I have only my Mac around. Um, I have a Alienware Aurora R10 on order. I just recently sold my Alienware um, 15R3 laptop. Just didn't never see it leaving my desk, so I figured I'd go with uh, a desktop now. And I got a good price on it from someone who wanted to buy it from me. So that's that. I'm going to back to a desktop. And I decided not to build myself this time, mainly because I'm old and I have not enough time to kind of build the way I want to build. And I figured, you know what? I trust the company. They've done well for me for my last two laptops that I bought from them. Let me give their desktop a try and see where it goes. If it doesn't go well, we'll just return it and I'll build it myself. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's me. I'm Rob. I will be doing another review um, once I actually listen to a movie and play some games with this. That's that. Let you know what I think about it. Have a good one.